Today we did a ground deployment of the spin recovery chute on the F-35. It's the first time, but we hope it's the only time we deploy the spin chute ever in the airplane. One of the very early things we're going to do with the airplane is put it out of control intentionally. And the spin recovery chute on the back of the airplane gives us the confidence that if it does go out of control, we can always get it back. Based on the analysis and the simulation we've done, we don't expect the control laws of the airplane to allow it to go out of control, at least not very easily. But that's why we do flight tests, because we never know exactly what's going to happen until we go try it. So we're going to go try it. We have the spin chute on there to give us confidence. Flying the high angle of attack testing is really important to the rest of the program and to the airplane as a tactical fighter plane because it opens the door to taking the airplane where it was designed to go, all the way up to 50 degrees angle of attack. When we fly high angle of attack testing, that's going to open the door to loads testing and buffet testing and operational testing that right now we can't do because we're capped at a 20 degree angle of attack limit. Even with that thousand pound tripod on the back, it doesn't feel any different. You feel a thunk on the back, a little bit of decel, and then a little bit of axle when you let the chute go. Almost uneventful. It went really smooth.